Michael Fassbender Actor Michael Fassbender is an actor. He is the recipient of various accolades, including nominations for two Academy Awards, four BAFTA Awards, and three Golden Globe Awards. In 2020, he was listed at number nine on the Irish Times list of Ireland's greatest film actors. Born, 1977, age 47 years, Heidelberg, Germany. Spouse, Alicia Vikander, M. 2017. Upcoming movie, Black Bag. Height, 6 foot 0. Parents, Joseph Fassbender, Adele Fassbender. Siblings, Catherine Fassbender. Michael Fassbender is an Irish actor who was born in Heidelberg, Germany, to a German father, Joseph, and an Irish mother, Adele, originally from Larne, County Antrim, in Northern Ireland. Michael was raised in the town of Killarney, Company. Kerry, in southwest Ireland, where his family moved to when he was two years old. His parents ran a restaurant, his father is a chef. Fassbender is based in London, England, and became known in the U.S. after his role in the Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastard, 2009. In 2011, Fassbender debuted as the Marvel anti-hero Magneto in the prequel X-Men, First Class, 2011. He would go on to share the role with Ian McKellen in X-Men, Days of Future Past, 2014. Also in 2011, Fassbender's performance as a sex addict in Shame, 2011, received critical acclaim. He won the Volpe Cup for Best Actor at the Venice Film Festival and was nominated for Golden Globe and BAFTA Awards. In 2013, his role as slave owner Edwin Epps in slavery epic Twelve Years a Slave. 2013 was similarly praised, earning him his first Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Twelve Years a Slave marked Fassbender's third collaboration with Steve McQueen, who also directed Hunger and Shame. In 2013, Fassbender appeared in another Ridley Scott film, The Counselor, 2013. In 2015, he portrayed Steve Jobs, 2015, in the Danny Boyle directed biopic of the same name, and played Macbeth, 2015, in Justin Kurzel's adaptation of William Shakespeare's play. For the former, he has received Academy Award, BAFTA, Golden Globe, and SAG nominations for Best Actor. As well as acting, Fassbender produced the 2015 Western Slow West, 2015, which he also starred in. Family Spouse Alicia Vikander, October 14, 2017, present, two children. Parents Joseph Fassbender Adele Fassbender Relatives Catherine Fassbender, sibling Trademarks Deep, calm voice combined with emotionally intense performances Often works with Steve McQueen Intense, gritty performances Wide, enthusiastic smile Predatory characters, e.g. Twelve Years a Slave, Fish Tank, Alien, Covenant Frequently plays villains or deeply flawed anti-heroes. Trivia He went on a diet of berries, nuts, and sardines for his role in Hunger, 2008, for which he lost 33 pounds. Despite achieving worldwide fame and success, he still lives in the same modest flat in the Hackney area of London that he had when he was a struggling actor. Is close friends with X-Men co-star James McAvoy. First language is English and second is German. Attended the Chongren Yen, but dropped out. One of his classmates at the time was Tom Hardy. Hardy stated that Fassbender was the best actor in the school. Both appeared in Band of Brothers, 2001. Born in Germany, to a German father and an Irish mother, and was raised in Ireland. He speaks German, though he has stated that he needed to brush up a little on his spoken German before filming Inglorious Bastard, 2009 as it was a little rusty. He has also expressed interest in performing in a German-language film or theater production one day. Filmed Assassin's Creed, 2016, The Snowman, 2017, and Alien, Covenant, 2017, in that specific order, one after each other, without breaks between films, between August 2015 and July 2016. He admitted that he needed a break after all these films.
The actor's second name, Fassbender, a variant of Fassbender, is the German for Cooper, a binder or repairer of casks and barrels. Somewhat at odds with his role as Steve Jobs, Michael himself admits to still preferring his years-old iPhone 4 with a cracked screen over upgrading to a newer model. To play the younger version of Ian McKellen's Magneto in X-Men, First Class, 2011, he started studying McKellen's films because the two actors had never met before, they only had their first meeting at the 2013 Comic-Con. Has a scar on his left ankle after James McAvoy crashed a golf cart the two were driving in and he sustained an injury on his left leg. Michael is only the fifth actor to have received more than one Los Angeles Film Critics Association Award for Best Actor since the their inception in 1975. The other four actors are Robert De Niro, Jack Nicholson, Robert Duvall, and Daniel Day-Lewis. Currently resides in London, England in the same flat that he has owned since he was in his late twenties. Shifting between British films and American films, he resides in London, England where he has lived for the last 15 years, while making career-related visits to Los Angeles, California. Has an older sister, Catherine Fassbender, who is a neuropsychologist. Is a huge fan of MotoGP and Formula One and has attended several races. On Top Gear, 2002, he stated that he was a huge fan of Michael Schumacher and he met him at the British Grand Prix. And on the red carpet of the BAFTAs in 2012, he said that he is a huge fan of Ayrton Senna, who was his introduction to Formula One. Became a father for the first time at 44, when his wife Alicia Vikander welcomed their child earlier this year. 2021 Nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor in 12 Years a Slave, 2013, directed by Steve McQueen, making it their third collaboration together, after Hunger, 2008, and Shame, 2011. Has formed his own production company, known as Peanut Productions. Is in a relationship with Alicia Vikander. They met while filming The Light Between Oceans, 2016, in 2014. Producer Harvey Weinstein introduced them as the new talented couple at a party during the 2015 Cannes Film Festival. During the press conference of Macbeth, 2015, at the Cannes Film Festival, he stated that his co-star Marion Cotillard is the best actress in the business, May 23, 2015. Was cast for the role of the vampire Adam in Only Lovers Left Alive, 2013, but dropped out and was replaced by Tom Hiddleston. Discovered he wanted to be an actor at 17 when he participated in a school play. Despite playing tech genius and icon Steve Jobs, he had admitted that he is very technophobic in real life and avoids it when he can. Good friends with Steve McQueen. His first film audition was for the role of Rafe Colley in Pearl Harbor, 2001. The role later went to Ben Affleck. Has played a Holocaust survivor and victim of the Nazis in X-Men. First Class, 2011, X-Men, Days of Future Past, 2014, and X-Men, Apocalypse, 2016, a British soldier undercover as a Nazi officer in Inglorious Bastard, 2009, and a Nazi in Blood Creek, 2009. Quotes You know, I spent a lot of time out of work. Now I'm trying to make hay while the sun is shining. On creating his character David in Prometheus, 2012, with Ridley Scott, we took inspiration from David Bowie and some of his looks as well. I liked the idea of having a feminine quality to him for sure. On his preparation for Hunger, 2008, I felt really focused, really centered, really strong. Hungry all the time, obviously. We live in this society where nowadays if I want something, I take it, I eat it, it's so easy and readily available. When you take all that away, you actually become more appreciative of the things around you. I don't want to do it again, but there is a level where it humbles you in a good way. On portraying hunger striker Bobby Sands in Hunger, 2008, I lost about 14 kilos and weighed 59 kilos by the end. It was the only way we could do it and make it convincing. On why he dropped out of the drama center, in drama school, they don't think of movies as a pure form like theater and it's films that I love most. There's an intimacy in movies, I wanted to have the same impact on others that movies had on me. On picking roles, I'm just following my gut instinct. On Quentin Tarantino, you know the man eats, breathes, lives film. 
You could bring up the most obscure movie, like some fucking Swedish film from 1963 or whatever, and he'll know it. It's quite staggering, actually, he's an encyclopedia of knowledge. For me, Daniel Day-Lewis is in a league of his own. I think that he's amazing. And he's always been a benchmark of excellence. 2011, on what attracted him to Jane Eyre, 2011, it's a classic, and the reason people keep doing it is because there are so many things that seem to still resonate with audiences today. They like to disappear in that world. I did it because my mother and my sister are really big fans of the book. And I wanted to see what they would think of the Rochester that I would bring to the table. That's the first reason I wanted to do it. And then when Carrie Joji Fukunaga, director, came on board, I was really excited, because Sin Nombre, 2009, was such a good film, such a beautiful story, and so beautifully told. I was like, this is going to be interesting, an American director coming over and doing his take on this, the classic British piece. I like that the characters are ugly, and they're beautiful, and they're cruel, and they're nurturing. There's so much complexity to the characters, they're so well written, and I find that interesting. There's ambiguity within the characters, and that's what really attracted me to it, to the performance. On his own unguarded nudity and shame, 2011, it was important to go all out, not take shortcuts there, and to be sort of naked in every respect. Otherwise, I don't think the film would have worked. On if he felt disgusting playing the role of Connor in Fish Tank, 2009, it washes away. I think it's important to go to places that are uncomfortable. For the benefit of others, maybe. You're facing all these ugly things, and knowing well, this is an ugly thing, and it's there somewhere in all of us. And so you're representing the ugliness. Connor does cross the line in Fish Tank, but on the flip side he is the catalyst for, the heroine, to become her own person. He is the only one who inspires her with confidence, to follow her dreams. And that she's not destined for shit. And so it's again playing with that ambiguity. The problem is, we feel a lot of pressure about looking silly or appearing weak, whatever that means, or being a failure. You have to keep in your head, what's the worst that can happen? I'm trying to tell a story, what's the worst that can happen? You fall flat on your face, then hopefully you get back up again and go for it again and try something else. We're all going to die one day. I'm stealing that off Steve, McQueen, it's what he'd say when he ordered me to take my clothes off. We're all going to die one day. On being nude in films and full frontal nudity, to be honest with you again, I think it's the idea of male frontal nudity. It just baffles me, women can parade around naked all the time, but the guy conveniently has his pants on. I remember my mom always complaining about that to me, saying, this is such bullshit, it's always the women who are naked. So I did this one for you, mom, on if he had any problem beating on Gina Carano in Haywire. 2011, it didn't really faze me. This isn't Michael Fassbender doing this, it's the character. I'm here to serve the story and the character. And in real life, Gina would beat the shit out of me in any circumstance. I mean, have you seen her on YouTube? I suppose the German side wants to keep everything in control, and the Irish side wants to wreak havoc. <laughs>